we are honestly broken people at the moment. We're still broken. I'm okay with admitting that because that was a hard thing for me to accept. Broken. But I'm not dead. I survived. So there's something that I'm supposed to do. How have you found healing over the past year? Many different ways. So I'm in therapy. Uh, that's a start. Um, I'm a musical artist. I write songs, poems. Um, I'm a mom. Just spending time with my kids, knowing that they almost didn't have a mother. <laughs> that uh, helps to see them. Um, we had a little separation anxiety going on, so just working with them on that, listening to them. Um, I'm a helper, I'm a giver, so helping other people <laughs> with whatever they're going through um, helps me, um, talking about it, um, doing, doing this, you know. Um, and uh, just trying to find some way to acknowledge that I'm not the same person. Which that has to be difficult. <laughs> that was the hardest part. That was the hardest part. So um, I still don't know who I am exactly anymore, but. It's still hard to believe it's been a year. It's still hard to process that. You know, I just had counseling today and we were talking about it and I hate the word anniversary because it's not an anniversary. It, anniversaries are something that's happy, something that was happy in your life. This isn't an anniversary, this is a remembrance. This is a time for us to reflect on the 10 beautiful lives that we lost. It's a time to reflect on those that were injured. This is something we have to learn how to live with and learn how to have our new normal. How do you navigate that new normal and what helps you heal today? Thanking God that we didn't lose more people. Thanking God that I was spared. I could have easily have been shot. Um, knowing that I have the love and support of my family and my friends and my family down at Jefferson.